Hey everybody, Brett from the Stardies Gaming here, back with another episode of our Jurassic Rim World Let's Play. So, between episodes, I've been getting a little bit of work done on the base here and there. Nothing drastic, just, you know, kind of letting time run and our pawns work on stuff. The warehouse here has made some progress. Once they get these pillars in, we can start roofing the thing off and maybe even actually using it as a warehouse. But, first, well, no, I mean, we can start loading stuff in here before it's done. We just need the roof over it. Uh, but once that's going, we can let them kind of finish this corner. As long as, again, the roof is over it, it'll still be the same as what we're doing over here. So we may as well just start moving stuff as soon as we can. But uh, it won't improve the um, the storage quality or whatever until we have this entirely enclosed. So that is what we're obviously working toward, but the sooner we can start moving stuff, the better. So we should do that as soon as we can. Um, we also have this bandit camp quest that we were gonna do last time, but we never got around to. So we're gonna do that today. In fact, uh, we should probably do it as soon as possible because we've got about five days left. I think it's only about a day there, so we'll be okay. We'll send them out in the morning. For now, let's just get things rolling. Um, I think everybody, for the most part, has healed, except for Tone. Tone and, um, well, Karen wasn't hurt from the fight, I don't think. She had a mental break after last episode. Uh, maybe she got hit with friendly fire, but the, the bruises and stuff are from us trying to detain her during her mental break. She was on a corpse obsession, and I really didn't want her digging up Nedry down here. So, um, I think Allison went ahead and detained her and rather than you know actually taking her to prison once she was downed we just brought her in here to be treated we've got one of the new medical beds finished but we still need the three others and then um, eventually I'd like to move this stuff somewhere else so that we can utilize this room for something more medicine related rather than having our water like treatment facility in the hospital because that can be anywhere really um, obviously the pumping station does need to be in, you know, a logical spot, but it doesn't have to be in this spot. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think that, um, we have any wells in here, so that's not really an issue. Uh, the water heater and stuff is in here. Uh, our water treatment facility is in here, but none of that necessarily needs to stay in there. It all just needs to get kind of moved together into a different place. And what I'd like to do as well is wherever that new place is to put in our sewage treatment center. Though I'm almost reluctant to do that because if we're treating the sewage, um, it basically just gets rid of it. Whereas the system we have now creates a lot of fecal sludge, which is actually good for us because we're turning it into chem fuel. We have a lot more chem fuel than we need, but we can sell the chem fuel. If we use that, then we're just getting rid of it, which is unfortunate. Um, so yeah, let's see, it's about 5 a.m. We'll give them a little bit longer, and then we'll go ahead and send them on out. Though it looks like most of the people we'd be sending are awake already. Uh, Lester is not, Bruce is not, so wait on them. Actually, where's Gomez, so... Yeah, maybe not. We'll wait a little bit longer. By the way, Tetsuo's um, resistance has been broken. So, at any point during this episode, if somebody goes and tries to recruit him, there's a very good chance that he will, in fact, join us. Now, he's got a lot of health issues, as we were very aware of earlier so his ears and lungs will probably all need to be replaced and we'll probably just surgically repair the finger because that's easier than giving him a whole bionic hand though for him he might actually prefer it in terms of research right now I'm focusing mostly on that sort of stuff so um, we're doing these first but then we've got natural bones and natural limbs which will let us grow new uh, organic limbs. So for somebody like Amanda, who's a body purist and currently using a prosthetic leg, we can eventually give her a new 
organic leg and she shouldn't mind at that point. Unlike now where she's very upset having to have that leg. But somebody like um, Tetsuo, who is a transhumanist, will actually want... Uh, where is your traits? Transhumanist, yeah. So he'll actually want the bionics. And so to that end, we're also researching, um, well, natural organs and whatnot, but tissue printing and synthetic organs. So if we wanted to, we could give him synthetic lungs, which would be more efficient and resilient than organic ones, but more expensive, I'm willing to bet. So we'll see how all that works out. There's a lot of research to be done and potentially a lot of benches to be built to allow for that. So again, it, it will vary. Um, I suppose we're ready to go. It's 7 a.m. Everybody, except for a couple, are awake. So let's jump out to the world map and we'll go ahead and form our caravan. So obviously we'll send Riker, as always. Um, Gomez can go, but I think I'll leave her so that we can recruit Tetsuo a little bit faster. Instead, I will send, well, definitely Lester, uh, definitely Bruce, and definitely Boss. So those four. We'll also send Allison. So I think that's a pretty good team of five. Then, you know, our usual complement of animals. Uh, Bruce, and Allison, and Riker, and Boss, and Lester. Okay. Let's choose our route. It's going to be right down the road. Whoops. So only half a day to get there on the animals. That's good. Then for food, let's bring 32 packaged survival meals. Don't need nearly that many, but that'll be fine. And then for medicine, let's send them with that stack of 23 herbal medicine. Okay, and hopefully it doesn't take them all day to prepare for this. It'd be nice if they could leave, like, almost right away, but I know that they won't be that fast. I'm also going to make sure all those are marked forbidden. Not that anybody should be eating them, other than the caravan people, but still, just to be sure. Cool, that happened quick. So Tetsuo is part of our colony now, and I still need more bedrooms. So I guess this is going to go to Tetsuo. Tone and Karen don't have beds either. Why not? What happened to Tone's bed? He had a bed. Hmm. That's very odd. I'm running out of guest beds, so we definitely need to uh, start changing some stuff around. Let's put Tone here. And Karen... You were... what are you doing? I think mostly crafting and social. So it would make more sense to have her here. Billa, you're kind of doing the same thing though, aren't you? Crafting, yeah. Amanda's also crafting. So I'm not sure where we're going to put Karen. I mean, she's in the hospital now, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, and then Tetsuo, we're going to change up your appearance quite a bit. We're also going to give you some different gear, probably. But you are a decent fighter. So I'm going to ask you, what are you doing right now? No, don't do that. I'll need to give him a custom clothing loadout, or he's just going to start grabbing anything and everything. What about out here? There was some stuff out here. Um, That could work. So we'll have him go equip that. Um, as far as clothing goes, I'm not sure. But he should have a knife as well, so go equip the RPD. And then you can take this as a secondary. And we'll figure it out from there, I guess. So since Tetsuo is uh, a pretty solid combatant, but not somebody that we would probably be sending on away missions... I'm going to go ahead and outfit him like one of our guards. Unfortunately, I don't have a vest for him right now, so I'm just going to have him go grab this. But for clothing assignments, anyways, 
Um, first of all, let's fix his medicine. And then you should be attacking, not fleeing. Um, and yeah, we want you in the soldier loadout. So, what vest are you currently wearing? Um, that's fine. These can go, though. And we'll change up your your appearance a bit, too, just because you look kind of ridiculous right now. But we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so Gomez just finished the last of our new medical beds, so we have three full hospital rooms now. So that means we can treat up to 12 patients, which hopefully is more than enough. It seems like it would be, but I guess we'll find out. And following that, we'll potentially turn this into a fourth one with maybe some animal beds so that we can also treat animals effectively in here. Okay, so Tetsuo has finally made it down here. Our away team still hasn't left. Hopefully they're on their way out there right now. It looks like they are, okay. Okay, Tetsuo... What are you wearing at the moment? That's fine for the time being, but obviously we'll need to change that. So do me a favor now and run over to here. Actually, go to the mirror first. Okay, so here he is. Obviously, I had to make him look like Tetsuo from Akira because it was just too good an opportunity to pass up. So, got the real messy hair. He's a lot older than uh, Tetsuo from that show, or the movie. So, um, he's all wrinkled up, but otherwise he looks kind of as close as you could get in RimWorld anyways. So we'll let him go about his business. And uh, speaking of his business, we should probably change up his priorities a bit. Uh, oh, it looks like we forgot to change Wales as well. I feel like I changed hers, that's weird. Because um, I definitely changed Karen's, and Karen joined us after Whale. That's really odd. Uh, whale... Yeah, you're all threes. I need to fix that. So Tetsuo, doctoring, we'll leave it a four. Um, maintaining vats, probably don't need you doing that. Hunting, uh, I don't know, maybe a four. Growing is something that you'll probably be doing a lot of. Plant cutting... Um, art, definitely doing art, and then cleaning and stuff would be helpful to, I don't know about crafting, we'll put that at fours as well, but I think um, plants, plants and art are going to be his main gigs, and then for Karen, or sorry, Whale, who we still haven't adjusted her stuff yet, um, I think growing is going to be her top priority. Crafting should also be up there, and construction as well. Hmm, how do I want to distribute that? I think we'll do construction at four, alongside cleaning and hauling. Crafting will be threes, so her top priority is going to be um, taking care of the farms and stuff. When there's no harvest to be had, She'll go to crafting, and if there's nothing to craft, then she will build or clean or haul. I think that's a pretty good priority. And then obviously, if she needs to flick a switch or get treated, she'll do that first. So, yeah. Perfect. And have you guys... Okay, good, you're about to leave. Off they go. Um, it's going to take them... Oh, wow. So it went back up to point nine. Well, they'll, ha they'll have plenty of food. I gave them enough for almost six days, and they'll be foraging as well, so we'll have enough food to get there, hang out for a while, and then come back with no problems. So we have a um, Remunation Arms dealer flying by. I think this is going to be a good opportunity for us to unload a lot of the weapons that we've accumulated, so let's have Gomez, our best speaker, uh, give them a call, and we'll try to dump a lot of this stuff depending on what they're willing to buy I think we have did I put one in here no I probably should though oh well it's not a big deal okay here we go so basically any weapon that we don't absolutely need I'm gonna try to get rid of 
So those three, um, Thompson can go, all of them. I think I'll keep that MP5 just as a backup weapon. But we have a lot of shotguns as well. Most of which I have no intention of using. Hmm. I am curious. So do any of them have better range? I don't think they do. I think we checked. And they're all virtually identical. But I wouldn't mind keeping a couple. I just don't need as many as we have. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the Remington. Um, that one's still 100%. Got a few of these as well. I guess let's do that and that. And I'll keep these two. So that has us up to 500. They have plenty of money, so that's not an issue. I could buy guns from them, but I don't see a reason to do that. Unless there's like some that I really, really want. Like this maybe, but I even that I don't think so. Okay, grenades and whatnot. I should unload some of that too. But I, I don't think a lot of them are in this storage, so maybe not. The AKM I'll get rid of. Okay, so we're keeping... Nope, he should go as well. Steel, all that stuff I want to keep. Do they have anything for sale? Uh, they actually do. A lot of medicine, a lot of components. I don't really need that stuff though. So I think we'll probably pass on it. And we'll just, again, use this opportunity to unload the um, excess weapons that we have. If we're lucky, we can get some stuff hauled back over here relatively quickly. Actually, it looks like there were guns in here that they didn't have interest in. So that bolt-action rifle, this Mossberg 500, I don't remember seeing on there. Neither of them. But I could have just missed it. And the Carl Gustav I intentionally didn't sell. But yeah, the minigun wasn't on there either. So they are only willing to buy... It looks like the actual remunation weapons. And actually, no, because these are, I think, remunation too. Oh well. If we're lucky, though, we can get some of the stuff hauled back over here. Um, like this stuff over here. There's weapons out there still. And then... There's a couple weapons in here that technically shouldn't be in here, so, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's grab your settings, we'll paste them here just in case, and there. Ideally, all the weapons will be in there, we'll be able to sell anything that we don't want. But even if that just means we can get the excess weapons in there, at least they won't deteriorate outside, and then obviously the ideal situation would be to have this finished so that we could just put them all in here. But until they actually do that, better to have them indoors where they're not going to deteriorate, even if this is a tiny little room. Oh, and we finished another... Never mind, that was the one that uh, somebody was wearing before. I was going to say we finished another beret, but we did not. That's an old one. I should look, though. What are you making right now? Unfinished. Oh, right, I asked for another resistance jacket to get made because the one that Rianne is wearing is um, tainted, so we're going to try to replace it. What else? Um, berets. We still have one queued up. Let's ask for two. One for Marin and one for Tetsuo. Uh, Marin is wearing a cloth one right now. I'm going to make them all Devil Strand, and if I decide to recolor them later, fine but at least that way they'll all be starting from the same point so if I need to color adjust them they will be consistent versus trying to turn a, a black beret or you know the red devil strand ones to the same black as the cloth it, it could get difficult to mix and match but we'll see maybe not okay so this bathroom is like ready to go, we just need to get the walls built, which unfortunately is taking a while. I was also considering maybe ditching this extra wall here, because I had to do that on the other side. So over on this side I noticed that I didn't leave enough room out here for um, berry bushes, which isn't a big deal, but I'm trying to keep you know the base fairly consistent. So 
I had to shift our blueprints over a little bit. Not a huge deal because nothing was actually built here yet. Except for the floors, which, you know, can get changed relatively quickly. Anyway, um, I had to shift this over and so the wall that was here is gone now and there's only going to be a single concrete wall right there dividing these rather than the double wall that we had here before and we still have over there. It's not too late to remove that one. It's just I would have to adjust the layout of the bathroom slightly. And I don't know how I would do that to be honest because this whole thing is just kind of an odd shape. So it would get me an extra sink here potentially but on this side I don't know what it would really do for us because I would still need a wall here for that bathroom stall. So it would just go from uh, one of these walls to one of these walls essentially. Versus over here at least we'd get an extra sink. Yeah I don't know but I guess it would save on materials and that's something so I'll, I'll cancel it. And oh a relationship. Oh, I thought we had a new relationship, so we have guests that are related to Amanda. Vladislav is Amanda's brother. Got it. So you guys are just passing through? They're not raiders. I don't see a trade marker, but generally guests are purple, and I don't have a guest tab for them, so I don't know what they're doing. So back to the bathroom, another thing I need to do over here if we're going to remove that wall is adjust the flooring accordingly. Um, what? Oh crap. What was this again? Granite and marble? Yeah, or marble and granite. So marble granite right there. And another thing I should probably do is put those in right there. Just so nobody's going to walk in this stall in accident. And finally, I'm going to take the plumbing that's right here, and I'm actually going to run it through the wall there. It was supposed to run through the wall that was here, but obviously that wall doesn't exist anymore. So we're going to shift it over and then deconstruct what's already there. Just because it's, you know, I guess better, I don't know, better for my OCD that way. It's going to be hidden regardless because the plumbing is hidden by floors, but still, I'd rather it in the wall. So that's, I think, fine. Nobody's, I think, using these anyways because there's no walls around them yet, so it's not a huge deal. I might just, I'll, I'll see, but I might completely overhaul this bathroom later. I don't know, it was just a weird shape and it was really hard to make work properly. So, like, with this, I'm curious, so if we were to, say, measure this, that was, what, 13 across? If I used this whole bathroom without the additional entry point, it's, what, 13 across. So, yeah, I could make it work just like this one if I abandoned this extra entrance. And, honestly, I think I will. That convinced me, seeing that this was effectively making this ridiculous, really decided it for me. So these can get cancelled, this can get cancelled, all of this cancelled. Um, I think these toilets will need to move over a bit. So how did we have it over here? So potted plant, three sinks, potted plant, and then divider. Potted plant will go there. Three sinks, potted plant. This can get cancelled. This can get moved to there. This will get moved to here. And that should be a wall right there, but we can't put it in yet, so we'll just add in that bit. But yeah, right here we'll make this nice and even. Um, the toilets will need to move, so let's just cancel all of this for now. And I'll need a bit more flooring right there, and here, obviously. So we'll fill that in. Um, I should also deconstruct this. 
Wait, no. There it is. Okay. So we'll remove those pipes and then just have the pipes run straight through the wall here. And then, you know, do whatever else we need to do. And these toilets will move. But yeah, that, that definitely convinced me. I kind of liked having the additional entrances just to make it faster between here. But honestly, it's not like going out and around is that bad either. And if this room is identical size to this one without that little extra bit, I think it makes a lot more sense to do it this way where it's nice and uniform. So three sinks and three toilets on each side. And no weird, messy, extra walls that don't need to be there and etc. I think this is just a better layout. Okay, um, pause please. Let's hop over here and see what we're dealing with. We've got one, two, three, four, five enemies visible. I think the briefing said eight. So there's probably three inside. There's also a turret. That's a good spot to set up right there. That's not bad either. Um, and that could be decent. But I don't think we'll make it that far. So here's what I'd like to do. Riker, you're going to set up in here. You guys are all dismounted, right? It looks like it. Well, some of you look like it. Allison, dismount. Lester. Okay, start moving, please. Boss, get over here. Um, and then all of you hold your fire till we're ready to go. Okay, so you've got your destination there. Lester, do me a favor and set up here. Allison, get out to that one. I think we'll put... Bruce has the shortest range, so maybe Bruce should go where Allison was going. Allison doesn't have the best range either, but it's still, I think, better than Bruce's. Let's see. That versus... Yeah, even being behind him, she can shoot further out, so... Here's what we'll do. Lester, instead of going there, come over here. Yeah, that's fine. And I think Boss is going to go with you on that side. Maybe there. Or I could put you guys further back to be safe. I didn't even bother looking at what weapons they had. Looks like mostly submachine guns. That's an AKM, so that will have uh, a little bit better range. Oh, never mind. It's a AK knockoff. Couple shotguns, SMGs. Okay, so yeah, range is going to be definitely favoring us. Allison, you're going to go here. Bruce, you're going to go there. And did I give you an order? Yeah. Alright, so get moving. I think they're already starting to engage, so we'll go ahead and start engaging back. Uh, Bruce, set up here. I don't think you're going to make it to where I wanted you to go initially. You guys are free to open fire. And... Lester, as soon as you set up, you can start shooting. And he's already been hit. Yeah, go ahead and return fire. Boss, go ahead and return fire. I think we have too many people on this side. They kind of sprung out us, uh, sprung out us over there. Wow, you've been shot up pretty bad already. You know what? Did I put you in range of their turret? Oh, somehow I managed to just avoid it. That guy's got power armor too. That's gonna be fun. Okay, well, power armor's down. Uh, boss, you really need to get that guy. Riker, help us out over here. Allison, you do the same. And I'll let Bruce deal with this person. Okay, Bruce dealt with that person. Bruce, I'm going to have you move up now. Get to those trees. Okay, so Lester's been down. We've got a fire. Why is there a fire? Uh, oh, Thunderstorm, okay. Petra, do me a solid and come deal with that. Riker, is there really nobody for you to shoot? Uh, boss, I'm a little bit worried about all the fire you're taking. Let's pull you back. Oh, he's down, okay. Riker, come on, man. 
That damn shotgun. Okay. Quest complete. Sorry about that, guys. My gardener decided to uh, turn on the leaf blower right outside my window. So, um, hopefully they're done with that business now. Let's get back to our business, where we're trying to take down these two. Um, watch your fire there. Okay, so we killed them both. Um, right, so... Oh, Lester's back up. Boss, how are you doing? Uh, not well. Right, so... Bruce, I'm gonna ask you to... Let's clean these doors. And I'm gonna ask Bruce to go check that out. Meanwhile, Allison, can you... Oh, hey, Lester. Oh, but you dropped your gun. Um, let's unforbid all of this. Lester, do me a favor, equip that. No, come on, equip. Quickly. All right, then take care of Grub. Wow, lots of beds. Uh, that's perfect, though. That is actually perfect. The only issue here is I need a separate prisoner area if we're going to be taking any of these people prisoner. So... You know what, it's fine. We'll treat our people outside. It's not that big of a deal. So let's do this. Furniture, sleeping spots. Probably need two of them. Lester, keep shooting, I guess. I'm gonna have Bruce grab prisoners. Riker, Riker, Riker. Um, can I get you to rescue boss? And Allison, you're probably gonna help Mr. Bruce here. Okay, so, you're dead. And is that it? I think so. Lester, yeah, go get yourself treated. Anita's not dead. Um, lost a toe, but that's not a big deal. Kind misandrist. Um, that's unfortunate. Good grower, but that's about it. I don't know that we need her. I'll think about it. Dead, 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 dead. Okay, so she's the only survivor. I think this will be easier if we just don't take any prisoners, so... Um, sorry, Anita, but we are not going to be helping you. I guess I'll mark some of these. Oh, they're right, unclaimed. So we'll claim all those. I'm probably going to regret this because it's going to screw up all of our bed assignments when we get home, but... Yeah, sure, whatever. Do that. Allison, or I guess no, Riker. Yeah, do me a favor, rescue boss. And I think you were the only ones that were hit, so... We'll get them treated and that'll be that. Um, Allison, what are you doing right now? Cleaning rocks. Do me a favor and let's just put Anita out of her misery. Because Hunter lacks range weapon. Oh, because she's swapped to her knife. Come on. Shouldn't take that long. There we go. Uh, right, back over here. I need... Where was Karen? Somebody was putting out a fire for me, weren't they? Oh, Petra was. That's who it was. Okay, so Petra, do that. Um, Wayne, do me a favor and empty this. And we'll stay over here. Take care of this business. Medicine probably would have been wise, but stopping the bleeding, I guess, is equally important, so... Let's just do that for now, and we can worry about treating the um, infections or whatever later. I don't need to strip any of these people, because we can just loot the stuff off them when we leave. But it looks like some of them do have decent body armor on. In fact, two of them are wearing the Cry Cage armor, which is the one that I wanted to make sort of our standard issue. Also, we'll want to tear that down before we go, because that might give us some components. Um, that's Tone's gear. Not Tone's gear, um, Boss's gear. Anything else? I mean, even if this stuff's forbidden, we'll still be able to loot it, so that's all fine. But if they want to come eat, I'm happy to let them do that. 
Okay, so it's Lester's turn. Boss looks like he'll be fine. Lester looks like he'll be fine. Just needs to stop the bleeding, and we'll be okay. We can send them home. Okay, so Lester's treatment is finished. I think we'll go ahead... Oh, are you still treating him? Apparently. Um, I'll probably just send them home straight away because they're going to recover faster in our hospital beds anyways. I just wanted to make sure that these guys were stable before we took off. Oh, great. Psychic drone. Fantastic. Right, so let's jump out to the world map and we'll reform our caravan. That's all fine. Simple meals, fine meals. We'll bring all the food available. Um, corn and berries too, if it'll make the trip. Components. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I need Bruce to... Actually, Riker will be faster. Riker, come tear this down. Don't want to leave that resource behind. So we'll let him finish that, and then we'll take off. Okay, um, apparently Amanda's having a tantrum, which is unfortunate. But we did get some cargo pods. Delivering... Ooh, concrete! We needed that. That is actually really, really helpful for once. Often the cargo pods are just absolutely useless, but... In this case, that's actually something we could use. Cool, so we got two components out of that. Now we can jump back to the world map, reform our caravan. Collect all of this. Four components. Great. Um, I'll take that Nuka-Cola. It's a stack of steel. I'll take it, but we'll see where we end up in terms of mass. I might end up leaving it behind. The uranium we'll definitely take. I don't really care about stone. Um, steel knives, why not? Stun gun, definitely. These weapons all have value, so I think we should take them. And then as far as clothing goes, I'm only going to bother with... That marine armor is worth a little bit. But otherwise, I'm only going to bother with stuff that we'll actually potentially use. So all these plate carriers that we can sell or the ones that we'll actually wear. That's all fine. And I'm assuming all of this is probably marked as tainted, yeah. Uh, ooh, a fire foam popper. I'll grab that. And that does leave us kind of high in terms of mass. I think I'll ditch this steel. Um, I mean, we're moving pretty good regardless. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it's going to be about a day, no matter what. So that should be fine. If there's any infections, they should treat them automatically. So I'm not too concerned about that. I just like to treat people before they head out. So I don't accidentally have somebody bleed to death because they, you know, did something weird in the caravan. I can actually see who I need to prioritize and make sure that all of that gets done intelligently versus letting the AI try to figure it out and somebody dying. It's not worth the risk to me. Um, with that, I think we'll end the episode there. By the time we start the next episode, they will probably have returned home. Hopefully they'll be somewhat healthy and we'll start moving these uh, bathrooms around I may even since these doors aren't built yet I may even swap them to match this one because I kind of like the outdoor seating that we have here and actually I don't know because putting the doors in the center doesn't make a ton of sense no, maybe I'll make the other one match this one, and we can just move the stools so that they're in the middle and off to the sides and not blocking the doors. That's not too difficult. But I think having an entry and an exit makes more sense, so come in, use the toilet, wash your hands, exit. I think that's better than one central exit, especially if that's, sorry, one central entrance and exit. Especially if it's going to enter right into a wall, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So we'll have to move some stuff around here, but that's okay. Um, it's just a matter of shifting these and then tearing down a couple doors because the walls aren't built yet. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some RimWorld with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.